is I'm going to erase what's on the board, and we are going to what? Draw it up there. We're going to draw it up there. I'll draw it the first time. Then I'll have you gentlemen do dot to dot. How many people remember colored pencils? I have the dot to dots to hand around tonight. So after you get the ladder schematic on the board, you get to, to get in groups if you wish and try and wire it up. It's now time to push the envelope and get you guys working a little harder and getting you ready for the central air conditioning. The central air conditioning diagram you have to do from memory. It has to be properly color coded and you have to do both a dot to dot and a ladder. This is part of that diagram. So if you're all done with this, I'll go ahead and erase it. If you get stuck, I want you to try now because it creates stress. If you get stuck over Easter vacation, this diagram is on the internet. Now because I'm evil, I moved the parts around to cause more stress. But this diagram is on Neil's website. It's colored in. So you can go there and practice. Just because you have a week's vacation does not mean you're allowed to take a vacation. So cancel my trip to Port Lauderdale, huh? Not at all. Take your paperwork with you. <laughs> Whenever you're tempted to watch television, do your uh, schoolwork. Whenever you're tempted to go to places you shouldn't be, do your schoolwork. That's all you got to do. Are we good on this now? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. There are a couple different ways you can do this. I'm going to start with, for me, which what was easiest for me to do, is you have power coming in. And then you go to a transformer. Transformer is iron car, iron core. Notice that the transformer on the secondary side has less turns. That tells you this is step down. And I write 24 volts here. And 230 on this side. So I've already labeled that. Now, what parts do we have to have in a central air conditioner, electrical parts? Anybody have any ideas? Okay. Loads. We're talking about loads. Motors. Motors first. Anybody? Fan motor. High side? Fan motor. What kind of fan motor? Uh, compressor. No. Well, you got to have, a we'll start with the compressor. A condenser fan motor? And then we'll, we'll okay, here we go. And then we have to have a condenser fan motor. What other fan motor do we need? Evaporator fan, fan motor. Fan okay, motor. but in central air conditioning it's called a what? It's called a heat pump. Indoor fan motor. Because it's usually located inside the house or it circulates inside air. So compressor, condenser fan motor, and uh, indoor fan motor. Now we have to have stuff them on. What turns those things on? Anybody have any ideas? Anybody? Push button switch. Contactor and fan relay. Those, so those are five loads right there. 
So we got six total loads. Now, the 24 volt side is considered to be red. The 24 volt side return is considered to be black. That's National Electrical Color Code. We have to install a selector switch that selects between automatic operation and on. We have a thermostat. Thermostat on my drawings is shown as a bimetal switch. The thermostat is labeled as CS, cooling step. Some people call it CT, some people call it TC, cooling step. So you can change the letters, but it's got to be drawn properly. The cooling step turns on the contactor coil, and at the same time, power will go over to the selector switch and turn on the fan relay coil. So there's our circuit. Power in. This closes, feeds the fan relay coil. This closes, turns the contactor on. Now that we've energized these two control devices, we have to turn on the main loads. Your main loads are turned on by your contactor. Most cheap air conditioning systems only have one contact. The high quality one has two. Condenser fan motor comes on at the same time the compressor comes on. The fan relay turns on the indoor fan motor. There is our basic air conditioner. Other things we have to add is the letters Y for the contactor cooling and G for green, which is our fan circuit. So there you go. There's the basic air conditioner right there. Let's talk about how the basic air conditioner works. In order to get this thing to start, you have to put power That's into the circuit. That's condenser, C is condenser. Condenser fan motor. The cooling thermostat, labeled CS, has to say the room is warming up. When the room warms up, the bimetal expands, closes, and energizes the contactor coil and it energizes the fan relay coil through the fan selector switch, labeled on and auto. With the fan relay coil energized, with the contactor <coughs> coil energized, their respective contacts <coughs> change positions. This turns on the compressor and the condenser fan motor, and it also, FR closes and turns on the indoor fan motor and we have cooling. As a customer option, there is a switch that's labeled on for the fan. When you turn it to on position, the fan runs 24 hours a day. The air conditioner will still come on and off as needed, but the fan runs to circulate the air. There is the basic air conditioning schematic. Does anyone not understand it as so I've explained it? Those are the terminals on the thermostat. V is the national electrical code for the fan circuit. R is the power into the stat. Yellow is the national color code for the cooling circuit or the contactor circuit in the heat pump. Where's the R at? 
R is the red. BL is black. Again, what starts this? Nothing will start until the thermostat closes. Then power comes down through the stack and splits. Part of the power goes to the fan relay coil and back to, to the other side of the transformer. Part of it goes through the contactor coil and back to the other side of the transformer. So the first thing that goes is the fan relay? But at the same time it does the fan relay, it does the contactor coil. Now, I once made a mistake and said the electricity traveled at 186,000 miles a second speed of light and Neil corrected me immediately. So I'll just say electricity is very fast. It goes so fast that as soon as you put power to it, they're both going to come on within nanoseconds of each other. You know, where, where is the, uh, the fan delay? Come there is no fan on this one delay. That would be for heating, and we're not doing heating on this. When you take 51A class, you can learn heating, and you will add that circuit to this one to give you a complete central air with heating. Okay. If we have enough time at the end of the semester, I'll add heating to it for you. But I have to focus on the basics, such as doing your homework and learning what you're supposed to learn when you're not in school. And learning how the instructor sings in one knee, you're supposed to sing when it. <coughs> yes? So the, the contacts on the, uh, the relays and, and the coils, they can handle the, the 